Hello everyone, in this video I'll do a little review of the Divine USB-1 microphone. There are enough videos of people unboxing this mic, but setting this mic up is very easy and I don't think I need to show you this. What you want to hear is the audio quality. So to compare this audio I'll record the same segment with three microphones. The built-in mic from my laptop, the mic from my Triton AX180 gaming headset and then the Divine USB-1. For an extra feature, I'll use a pop filter with the Divine USB-1. There will be a clear difference with these microphones, so let's get straight to it. So, this is recorded with the laptop microphone. Pay attention to the static and background noise, so you can hear the difference later. Now, I'll say some more tongue twisters, which will make sense once you get to the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shining shop. Now, next microphone. So, this is recorded with the Triton AX180 gaming headset. Pay attention to the static and background noise so you can hear the difference later. Now I'll say some tongue twisters which will make sense when we get, once we get to the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shining shop. Now next microphone. So this is recorded with the Divine USB 1. Pay attention to the static and background noise so you can hear the difference later. Now I'll say some tongue twisters which will make sense once we get to the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shining shop. Now same microphone with the pop filter. This is recorded with the Divine USB one with pop filter. Pay attention to the static and background noise so you can hear the difference later. Now I'll say some tongue twisters which will make sense once we get to the pop filter which is right now. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shining shop. You heard the difference? The pop filter cancels out some blasts of air your mouth creates when saying the letters like P, T and K. It's a little extra feature, but it can improve your commentary. That was the comparison. I really like this mic and I also use it for my recordings from now on. It's enjoyable to listen to and for the price of 45 euros, it's totally worth it. This is the end of the review, but if you want to stay and learn more about noise cancellation in Audacity, that's coming right up. To show you what effect noise cancellation can have, I'll give an example. I recommend using headphones, because then you'll hear the difference more clearly. Now I'll let the rec mic record nothing, so I won't speak and I won't make any noise. With headphones you can still clearly hear some noise, the background noise or any static the mic picks up. Now let's use noise cancellation. To do this just leave about 5 to 10 seconds of pure silence at the beginning or end of your audio commentary using Audacity. To remove any static from your audio commentary select the part at the end or the beginning of your commentary that you left open where you didn't say anything. Then at the top click on effects, scroll down until you see noise removal, click that, then look at step 1 and click noise profile, get noise profile. Then the next part is to select the whole audio commentary, the quickest to do, way to do this is to press Control A on Windows PCs and then go back to effects, go back to noise removal and then at the bottom click OK, then you'll see the bar is completely fat, there is no noise, there is no static, and this will transition throughout the whole commentary. Now, let's record some more silence and then use noise removal. Normally, you should hear quite a big difference. There may be some background noise still left because some cars are driving past my house, but static and other things are filtered out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you learned something, I hope you can use this trick in Audacity to improve your commentaries. I hope I may, might have convinced you to buy this microphone because it's also a very good microphone. And yeah, be sure to check out our other videos, um, we uh, just started out on YouTube, we are fresh from the boat and uh, we're working hard for our views and subscribers. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.